All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at AWS Reinvents. It's day one, and I'm super excited to be chatting with Mo, who's the CPO at Adimuta. Super excited to be learning more about what's happening here at uh, AWS Reinvent, but Immuta and data marketplace, so a lot of things to chat about more. Uh, but just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about what you're doing at Immuta, but not only just that, also tell us about how do you feel about uh, AWS Reinvent? Yeah, excited to be here. Uh, I'm Moritz, I run product engineering at, right. at Immuta, which has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Reinvent is always exciting. I think it got very, very big. I still remember when I first came here, I think like 11 years ago or 10 years ago. Wow. It was like still small. It was already big, <laughs> but it was still small. Yeah. Yeah, now I think it's my sixth time here. It's like getting very, very big. Yeah, hard That's to get around, but like still always exciting to be here. Yeah, I know AWS is always so busy. Like 60,000 people is what I heard, the number. Yeah. And uh, that's awesome. You know, you get to meet the community. You get to be around it. Uh, but obviously, uh, you're are doing interesting things at Immuta. I've yeah. been, you know, obviously chatting with the Immuta team at Gartner and, uh, you know, different places, uh, Snowflake as well. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited to learn a little about uh, the data marketplace, which seems to be, you know, uh, that many companies are talking about. Why do you think it's so interesting? And uh, how is Immuta kind of making the most of it? Yeah, yeah. I think we need to take a step back first. So what we are seeing with customers is, and everybody wants to do more with data. Right. I think that's nothing new, but I think something changed in the last year or two um, because of generative AI and ChatGPT. I feel like there was really a shift like one, two years ago where everybody was suddenly, okay, we must do more with data, we must leverage it. This is like True. really changing everything. And so a data marketplace is ultimately just a mechanism for all those companies to share data yeah. better and faster within the organization. Yep. Because if they, can't share the data, right? If you can't use the data that I produce, then the organization can't leverage the data. So ultimately, everybody's just trying to get more value out of the data they have to compete in the marketplace. Yeah, no, I think that uh, makes a lot of sense in terms of how companies are operating and how they are kind of looking at it. So what are the most important things for companies to consider? What are your thoughts uh, in terms of what might uh, make a marketplace project succeed or fail, are there any best practices that you yeah. might want to share with the, uh, yeah. the folks out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what you're seeing is there are definitely companies that do better than others. Right. Um, and it's usually the companies that do better, they're not trying to boil the ocean, right? You start small, and then you build up some momentum, and then you do more. And I think it's it's always the same with a new technology or with a like new concept, because ultimately, exactly. The data marketplace, yes, there's like a new product, right? It's technology, but it's also a big like mindset shift for yeah, our customers. Because yeah. the marketplace is all about it. It's about sharing data, and to share data, what the companies are doing is they build data products, mm. right? And data products is like a really new mindset. It's not about sharing all the data you have, right? Right. You focus on your most valuable data, and what everybody's doing now is while well, we build data products, right? Data products are really high quality curated data assets so that you know if, if I build a data product, you know, right, it's working well, it has the right data, it's up to date, it's like managed, right, it has a life cycle, it has the right, the right quality. Right. And so like switching to the data product mindset isn't like straightforward for every company. So what mm. we usually advise is, well, start in one little corner. Start with one use case. Maybe start in a certain department, right? Right. In a certain line of business. And start with the data that everybody in your company already wants, mm, right? Because right. it's like really valuable data, and if that data is in your marketplace, then people will come, right? Because a marketplace has nothing to do with data. A marketplace in general needs, right, it needs supply and demand. Right. So you need to have data in there that's interesting, that people want, and if I publish the data, then the consumers will come to the marketplace, right? And they will learn over time that if I need good data, I go to this place, and if I Very take true. the data from there, Very true. it's working well, right? And I can get, get my job done. Those are fantastic yeah. insights that you've kind of shared. Yeah. I'm, uh, you know, talking of use cases as well, do you have any use case on top of your mind? I, I know sometimes you uh, you can't take names of companies, but then yeah. anything that you would like to share around it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it really depends on like the type of companies, right? The vertical, right? True. I feel like every company is slightly different or every vertical is different, right? right? We work a lot with pharmaceutical companies or the large banks or government, and they are all slightly different what data they are sharing internally and which data matters more. Right. But what we are seeing, one big trend that we are seeing is that everybody's becoming a data consumer. And what so we do, right? Well, um, and then, I mean, 
it makes sense, right? Like, like yeah, of course. But what, what we mean when we say that is, it's literally every employee in the future will interact with data directly. And the reason why is because I think generative AI makes it so much easier, mm. right? Like if I go, like I, I'm technical, I use Snowflake, right? Like if I go into Snowflake, I don't write a SQL query from scratch anymore. I use their co-pilot, right? And I write something like generate this or give me that data and it just generates the SQL query for me. And so that's today, right? So what we will see in like a year from now, and two years from now, is that like if a CEO needs data, if an yeah. executive needs data, right? If a non-technical like marketing analyst that's like fresh out of college needs data, right. they will just go into Power BI or Snowflake, right? And they will just write in plain English what they want and they get the data. Exactly. So in a world where everybody's a data consumer, sharing data needs to be much more streamlined. Streamlined, true. Right, if you look at a large organization today, what you're seeing is there's all this bureaucracy and that's waste, right? Like, you want data from me, you need to ask for approval, I approve, somebody else needs to approve. Yep. Then maybe you need a data engineer to prepare the data, right? It just takes like weeks to get the data shared. So the big pattern we are seeing is you need to streamline that process and get rid of the bureaucracy so that if you want data, you find it in like a marketplace, request access, I approve, maybe my manager approves. Yeah. But then when I hit approve, you get the data, right? It's not that then an email gets sent to the data engineer, right, in a different team, yeah. and then three weeks later you get the data. It really needs to be automated, because otherwise you cannot deal with just like the massive amount of data access requests. That's so true and yeah. so helpful for the larger community out there to make it yeah. you know, as easy as possible to access data, but at the same time you're so right about you know, everyone's a consumer out there. Yeah. So, and they want to make it as easy as possible yeah. with the lot of data that we have. Yeah. So that's so true. Okay, about the big news, I, I heard that Immuta has just launched a data marketplace solution. Yeah. Uh, not a new one, but then you all have launched it. Yeah. Uh, so kind of wanting to know a little about how's the, how does that fit into your platform capabilities and what do you build? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have two answers there. So the yeah. first one is, I think the reason why we're offering this data marketplace is because customers ask us for it. Exactly. But the ultimate we're able to offer it really quickly and build it quickly because of everything we've done over the last many years. So like all the immutable functionality that our customers are using, right, to enforce access, to build those ABEC policies, all of that, we have like audit, all of that, it's utilized for the marketplace. Ultimately, the marketplace is just another mechanism to get access to data. So we were able to do it pretty quickly because of everything we built, all right. those integrations with like Snowflake, Databricks, Redshift, Lake Formation, etc. So that's great. My second answer is what we are seeing with customers is that they are using both the existing product and the marketplace because they're deeply integrated, right? Yes. Ultimately, all part of the same platform. And what we are seeing is that um, what's really powerful is you want to have those like global governance rules. For example. Right, credit card numbers, social security numbers, VI, PHI always needs to be protected, it needs to be masked, etc. And then if you use that with the data marketplace, right, you can allow data producers, publishers to build data products True. and they don't have to be worried that the sensitive information leaks into those data products. Because you might publish a data product, but then if I get access, I still have to adhere to those global rules. And exactly. that is how what Immuta is doing today, right, and what everybody's using from us, mm. works really well with the marketplace, right? Because not every data asset, not every table file, not everything will be accessed through a marketplace, right? Yeah, the marketplace true. is about high quality data products. And then you have like a bazillion other right, data <laughs> assets and tables, yeah, right? Yeah. And so it's really this duality of having those global governance rules, yep. but then also marketplace, and it all needs to work together, and that is where Immuta really shines, and by ultimately our customers use the whole platform. Yeah, exactly. I think customer first and customer focus kind of needs to be, you know, uh, yeah. made sure that we're kind of, you know, running in that direction. Yeah. So that's awesome. One quick thing uh, for our audience, and these are fantastic insights, uh, mm -hmm. by the way, Mo. Uh, if folks want to reach out to you, learn yeah. more about the things that you're doing, they want to reach out in terms yeah. of, you know, learning more about data marketplace, which is the best place? Is LinkedIn the best place? Twitter, where do you, where are you most active? Yeah, I mean, everybody can just like add me on LinkedIn or email awesome. me, Mo, mo at immuta.com, right? We're always happy to chat. Um, 
and have a conversation, also learn learn from everybody, right? We're not just trying to sell you our product, <laughs> right? Yeah. Just like we're really passionate about the space and like making it easier to make data available. So yeah, just reach out and we can have a chat. That's awesome. It's always such a pleasure to meet Immuta team and uh, great things that you all are building in this space. So yeah. thanks for again, once again for chatting with the Ravid Show and uh, looking forward to learning more. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate everyone. Thank you.